last uh, week on uh, Straight Talk Africa, you and your guest, uh, guests uh, talked about uh, uh, Jean-Pierre Bemba, uh, who has been locked up uh, by the ICC. Uh, one of the first uh, casualties, uh, so to speak. Uh, 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 your reaction? Everybody agreed that uh, perhaps it was a good thing to lock him up. But they also equally felt that uh, perhaps there should have been some other people involved in this particular case. Mm -hmm. Because Jean-Pierre Bemba was actually sponsored by some other major players in the region. Mm -hmm. uh, it's interesting that uh, they locked him up uh, for crimes he committed across the border in uh, the Central African Republic. And yet uh, he was uh, very, very uh, active uh, in uh, democratization of his own country, Congo. How ironic uh, is that uh, to be locked up for crimes committed uh, uh, in a different country. The buzzword, as you put it, is ironic indeed because, uh, you know, he didn't only really um, operate in uh, neighboring Central African Republic, but he largely and fundamentally operated within his own country, the Democratic Republic of Congo. And uh, you could probably find evidence, frankly, of what someone might, you know, regard or refer to as war crimes. But in this particular case, uh, Paul, uh, it's a question of who referred that particular case to the Hague. In this particular case, it was the government or the authorities of the Central African Republic for his uh, alleged role uh, in uh, somehow uh, following a military coup against the president at that time, whose name was Anje Patase, mm. and apparently resulted uh, in a lot of people losing life, but in particular, a lot of French lives. Mm -hmm.